Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to build a beautiful web interface to access OpenAI Daily 2 and in order to generate images from user prompt and in the end you will learn that how you can share the application to users so that user can you know uh, use the application as well. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I would like to mention three things. First, we are going to use a tool called Gradio developed by Hugging Face and we are going to use uh, this framework to build our user interface. This uh, framework is very easy to implement your machine learning uh, products into a demo. Second, you will need OpenAI API key in order to generate images using OpenAI APIs. And third, I'm going to write all the code uh, live. I, have, I haven't written all the code for this video. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll do is that I'll create a virtual environment python m venv and venv which is uh, my virtual environment name. Yeah, next I will activate that uh, venv then bin and then activate. Yeah, so it is activated now. Next, I guess I will add a git ignore file and ignore venv and then hyphen hyphen pi cache as well and dot env file. Uh, I'll create a dot env file and inside i'll say open ai underscore api underscore key and the value will be my open ai api key and let me get that okay so i have set my open ai api key now what i'll do is that let's say i'll say utils dot pi here i will write my open ai logic and uh, let's say gradio underscore ui dot pi uh, in this file we will write our uh, gradio logic uh, let's install few packages pip install uh, open ai gradio and then python dot env to read uh, env files i guess this is it Meanwhile, let's look into uh, open AI API documentation API references and uh, let's see directly image and create image. So this is the Python function to create the image. So let me copy that and inside utils. I'll write this. Okay. Mm, yeah, uh, here in order to read dot uh, env file, we need from dot env import load dot env and find dot uh, dot env. So what I'll say is that load dot env find dot env yeah all the packages are installed now so let me upgrade the pip version as well yeah it is quick let me clear the screen uh, now let's convert that into a function def generate images or generate let's say image uh, we will take a prompt which will be a type of a string and let's say since uh, this thing returns uh, a URL so we will return a string as well and let's say response we will catch this into a response let me indent that and for simplicity and to use less token 
I will be using uh, 512 by 512 and only one image and instead of prompt I'll pass my own prompt and the response will have data and which is a kind of a list and it has URL uh, property so that means I will return uh, response uh, then data and at the zeroth index I'll say URL so let's test this uh, generate image let's say uh, flying horse okay let me save this and I'll run oh sorry my bad I'll run this file python utils.py and yeah I forgot to print this but hopefully if it doesn't yeah so I'll, I'll assume that it will work now um, let's I'm sorry I don't have fans now uh, let's go to gradio ui and let's go to documentation as well so here uh, we will using interface so let's import gradio as gr and i'll say demo equals to gr dot interface interface will take three things uh, first function uh then sorry uh, not in this way this way function and then it will take inputs and then it will take output and uh, let's say there is another argument about flagging so allow flagging i'll say never okay and in input i'll take a text box so component uh, oh equals to gradio equals to gr dot components why i cannot see a component i'm not sure uh, let's write uh, another function let's say dev handle input so that will take uh, text and that will let's say return uh, I'll import PIL as well so let me show you what I'm doing and uh, I'll say from PIL import image okay and this will return PIL image so what I'll do is that my URL will be generate image and I'll pass my text as a prompt and then I'll say image equals to image dot open and I'm not sure I can read I'm not sure I can read I'm not sure let's say uh, PIL image open from URL so yeah open file name okay oh so it is showing that you should uh, store it somewhere and then okay let's do that uh, it doesn't matter okay so let's say from uh, from url lib import request i guess yeah and let me copy this so here um, okay so request 
dot url and this will be our uh, url and let's say sample dot png uh, the you know a more subtle way will be saving this into temp directory and then you know reading it from the temp directory but i guess this will work for now let me okay it is not installed uh, let me install pip install auto pep 8 to automatically format the code so let me format the code as well uh, yeah and let me save this so it is done now so here uh, i'll say uh, from utils uh, import uh, what was the function name it's a handle input handle input so my function will be handle input and my inputs will be gr dot uh, oh. components uh, dot uh, text box so I'll need a text box I'll say label equals to uh, please or I'll say write uh, sorry write your prompt and my output will be gr dot components uh, dot image and uh, <coughs> let's say my label is output uh, then I think uh, yeah my type will be PIL so I'll be setting a PIL image and now what I'll do uh, if underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then uh, demo dot launch and let me save this and let's run in order to run a gradio file you will need gradio command to run it gradio ui yeah so i guess it is working oh yeah okay so write your prompt here so i'll say a uh, flying horse yeah let's submit this let's see here if we face any issue I guess uh, no issue okay I should have done this yeah FP is missing oh yeah and I should have written like sample dot PNG and here uh, let's print the URL as well okay and uh, yeah there is a sample okay and this uh, returns image as well we haven't returned that okay so i guess this will work uh, yeah a uh, flying horse and if you have noticed whenever we make a change into any of the file it will reload uh, the application as well let me submit so let's see what happens here Yeah, so this is the URL. Let's see that. Meanwhile, yeah, and yeah, and we can see that the image is now shown in the UI. So yeah, it worked. I was skeptical before starting this uh, tutorial that it would work or not, but I guess it is working. And uh, yeah, so it is working beautifully. Moreover, what you can do is that. Mm, you can uh, what you can do is that you can uh, set height let's say 512 and width 512 because we are generating 512 by 512 images uh, let me try one more time uh, flying oh, sorry uh, uh, flying horse and when i hit submit
yeah new image is generated and yeah we can see uh, the response as well so i guess uh, this is it uh, from this part of the video and i hope you have you know gain knowledge to build this kind of beautiful interface using gradio again gradio is a great tool and in case you have learned something from this video and want to thank me then you can subscribe to my channel that helps uh, thank you for watching peace